What is up to all my certified lover boys and girls here? It's your boy DBX Clips here bringing you another video. And today I am going to break down the rate reward points you get from a raid and how you get the points earned for rate rewards in this video. <laughs> Man, now this one, I gotta see. Let's go watch. All right, first thing first, to check your progress in these raids, go to the news board. It's like legit right here. And you click on it, go down to raid rankings, and we click on the raid rankings. And it shows you the whole leaderboard, who's on top. You know, you got the, the overachievers to get, like, billions and millions of points for no apparent reason. It doesn't really matter. I don't know why they do it, but it's whatever. And if you press the option button, it shows where you're raking at and also your, your damage dealt. And as of right now, you see I got six, six, 65,231 6, 65, points. And you'll see why. You see why I'm, I'm going to mention this. Peep, I have 65,000 a plus points for damage. So, you know, okay, now I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm going to go to the, uh, the raid little bubbles. The raid bubble is like way up in the sky where I'm going right now. For people that don't really know. I'm pretty sure all y'all know. But for the people who don't know, it's the exclamation point, the little rainbow exclamation point on your map. And there's one here, and also one back over where the, the shops and palaces are at and whatever. And of course, while doing a raid, you have a chance to get some CC mascots, some custom keys, and also some artworks from this. Just, just from RNG, you can't, don't have to do anything, just survive the match. And of course, when you click on the bubble, it says the rotation. Favorite, this one here says February the 6th to February 11th. This means how long this raid is going to last. And so today, I'm just going to tell y'all what to do, what not to do while doing the raid online event. As y'all can see here, just right here, I got, I got a <laughs> super soul on to give um, my teammates health and also my health. So it's basically my support class for, for the raise. And you see I'm trying to get her attention by using the, the safe has come ultimate. It was Hercules ultimate and I had to do it again for them because she didn't tar target me and stuff like that. And you see I got the data input on so she could dodge me while she fought going to me. And you also got four new zones. I think it's called energy zone. <laughs> Where I can heal myself and my teammates while we're in a raid, and those being a little support player and stuff like that, stuff like that, and all of that. I was trying to heal my teammate over there. You see that? See, my teammate is, is like low on health, and so I'm trying to heal heal him. But I guess he don't want to get healed. I'm like, okay, whatever, stuff like that. I guess I want to heal you the know, Over your troll spinning in the air. I got meditation. Fuck, I was put have that input that lasts longer, and and also the that input uh, activates the. <laughs> Super soul. I love saying that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but whatever. And also got the healing capsules to heal myself and my teammates at the same time while doing the raid. Cause you don't really need them for a certain raids. And let's pause it right here. Okay, once the raid quest timer goes down, you complete it. It shows the results of the raid that you did. It gives you completion points, attack rating points, KOs, and the support. The KOs are how many times you died. You got KOs through the match. And also you got attack rating, how much damage you do. do during the whole entire match and you see i did barely no damage at all called playing support and stuff like that and also shows you the okay, top three people who did the you most damage at, um obviously and stuff like that and now keep in mind how much attack i did how much damage i did during this during this um during this raid raid quest and the, the, um, the damage is based off the attack rating as i just said i got low attack ratings for 23 just keep that in mind because boom look Damage dealt is my damage dealt is still the same. Look at that. And how to decrease your damage dealt? New flash is by doing more damage. Duh. <laughs> I could have been I could have been told you in the beginning and like and like it would just make the video more simpler and easier and shorter and stuff like that. But yeah, just do more damage. How do you do more damage? I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit and stuff like that. It's kind of easy. Just increase your damage up, your key buy something and stuff like that. But the thing is, I'm actually now I'm finna break down like what is like, you know, the, the rewards and like how much points you need, how much damage that you need for each reward and stuff like that. Cause everybody keep asking me how much do they need for these rewards, man? It's so annoying. And once again, I'm using this raid as another example. And if, of course, when you first play this raid, you get partition raid rewards. And your partition reward is basically a Satan badge where you can sell in the, in the shop for more, more Zenny. Uh, more TP, which is basically 50 TP, TP, and that's really about it. Now, for the individual target rewards, which is basically 
more damage you do is the better. The first the first stage, level one or whatever, is damage. It's, it's, you should deal 5,000 damage. And when, when, once you deal 5,000 5, damage for this raid, you get 50 TP in a street. Now, I don't know what street names mean. I'm guessing that's like a nickname, something like that. I don't really know. Then, of course, the next level two stage is basically a 15,000 damage dealt. And once you get that, you get 50 TP. Then, of course, you get the actual rewards that everybody want, which is ba basically clothes, um, accessories, or um, um, or artworks, or even super souls. But this one, for this raid, is basically just trunks, clothes, for trunks, shoes, and stuff like that. In a Z trunks, shoes. Then there's a level three stage, which, which on you have to deal 30,000 damage. And for di on this raid, you, your rewards are 50 T more TP, which is 50 TP, which means you have like what 150 TP now, 150, I guess. Yeah, then you'll get the tr energy trunks bottoms. Then the next stage is 50,000 damage TP. I mean, 50,000 damage dealt. You get 50 TP, of course, and in the trunks outfit top, and also an artwork. Um, 228, which is probably the bowler and trunk artwork that you get from this raid. Now, since this raid is new, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And of course, when you get 50,000 damage dealt um, in, in the raid, you get basically all the rewards that you you need to require for this raid. Yes, every, for every raid, once you read 50,000 damage in the raid, you don't need to do it no more. You got you got all the all the raid rewards requirements, all the points you need for, um, for the raid rewards now. Every time you get fifty thousand damage done, you got all the you got all the points required for for the um for the raid. That's that's it. That's it. You're done. You got it. You got everything now. You got everything. See, that's about it. Fifty thousand damage is what is is what everybody should be aiming for to get. If you want all the rewards and stuff like that. And of course, it's a it's a final stage, which is basically you don't have to go for it. You go for it if you want to. Is that you could deal one hundred thousand damage, which gives you. 50 more TP medals. <laughs> Congratulations. You did all that work for 50 more TP. <laughs> and a street name, whatever. And yeah, that's basically about it. That's basically the breakdown of the rate rewards for, like, you know, every, any, any rate request. But remember, it could be randomized for, like, what rewards you could get from the raids. So, like, the 15,000 TP, the 50 tab and damage requirements, you just, it should could be, like, the rewards could be just a super soul and maybe an accessory and like the 30,000 damage deal could be at the astro outfit and maybe another super soul and stuff like that so you know it's like randomized for each different ray requests and whatever stuff like that all right enough chit chat now it's time to get into the, the most important stuff is what to do and what to do what to do to gain more damage as you can see i'm saying of course the saying you yeah, have the most damage in the game i'm 100 sure about that want to know why because we got transformations baby and as you can see i'm using super Saiyan blue evolution and i got the attack up for more damage and i'm doing the work coming me huh and as you can see, my Super Soul is, I said, don't go easy on me. I highly recommend the Super Soul because it increases your damage by, I'm I'm pretty 100% sure it's extra, extra large, and which, which is a lot of damage, of course. And I've worked for Key Blast and, and Shrike Supers. I don't want you to do no Shrike Supers in, in a raid. If you Shrikes, it's kind of useless. That's why you see everybody just spamming um, Key Blast Ultimates and stuff like that. And you can see they're using Emperor Death Beam. Some people even use um, what else? Do they they poison the poison on the rate balls, and they also use Sally. People also use the Gigantic Roar. But the thing is, I highly don't recommend it. Gigantic 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 Roar, boy, Broly move, man. I can't even say it. Gigantic Roar. The reason I don't, the reason why I say you don't use it because once you, it does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, it does really a lot of damage. But once it touched the raid boss, no one cannot. No one. No one else can like deal damage to like maybe five or oh, seconds later because the the ray ball flies away and like some reason get into incivility frames or whatever and if it can't do no damage to like to like a few seconds has passed by and also for, and also there's people do divine lasso which is kind of annoying because once the divine lasso hit they're stuck in the animation and we can't really do nothing about it till like the animation is done and they then they explode then we can actually do our damage dealt then you also got the other people that do like do ultimates. Don't do no do ultimates, man. I don't know why people do do ultimates. It's obviously we gotta, we gotta fucking wait till the do ultimate is over with. It's so annoying. And then one hundred percent sure don't even do that much damage in, in a raid. Like come on, you taking taking up our time, man. Come on. Then you also got people doing doing um 
this little um skillful tactic, little tech tactic, whatever you want to call it, with um Nappa's move you get from Nappa from his mentor, mentor Nappa, which is Bomber XD. You just keep spamming that and spamming that, you get like you know tons of points. I see people get first place all the time, getting tons of points and getting stuff like that. Then what you um, but of course, I'm I'm really lazy with my raid raid um presets. I'm just using warp coming high, which actually got the job done actually which is crazy enough but mostly people use like emperor death beam but if you're like new to the game i highly recommend getting emperor death beam from the tp shop and getting like um sun the sun goku i'm a super saiyan super soul or also get um i am super vegeta super soul which increases your key blast and stuff like that and just ma just max out how much you can from the key and also get a good cuckoo bane that like max out that max up your key blasts like how high and you could think you got make it go and just spam away just spam away i highly recommend for saiyans like the transformations you know evolution or, or super saiyan blue if you don't you don't have that just get super saiyan 3 which is just know just just go to vegeta and like just train with him and castle corp i don't recommend super saiyan god only because super saiyan god only does a great amount of damage if you like combo your your your, your, your attacks to ultimates with like with which your basic attacks, you know, you do a little little punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, kick, then ultimate. Nah, it's not gonna work in a um, in a raid. Nah, not gonna work. Not gonna cut it here. But it, then you see, cause you can see why everybody just spamming ultimate. So like, you're not really punching. So like, there's really no point you using Super Saiyan God because you ain't gonna do really that much damage. How I'm doing right now and stuff like that. And so you know, yeah, that's basically about it. And also, there's also another Super Soul. Um, I'm finna skip to it after I get done. I'm showing y'all my damage points from which I'm finna show y'all right about. And as y'all can see, look at my attack rating points. I got 3,862 and I got third place. And also, I forgot to mention the uh, you probably get first, second, and third by, by your contribution points. Or it could be the attack rating as well, but it's probably like all everything you did combined together and what you did from your results from your. Raid quests, but it doesn't matter as long as you do enough damage. That's what you, if, we all here just for the damage anyway, so that's all that really matters from here. And also, there's one more. There's two more. Two more super soul. I want to talk about the one super soul is called. It's a Beerus super soul. Before creation comes destruction, you get it from one of the PQ when you fight Beerus and Whis. And it's basically um, after time has passed by during a battle, um, it, it will activate and increase your key blast by extra large. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's extra extra large, but I think it's extra large. And also to get down here very quickly, I I I, I say, um, put on a vehicle, um, throw it out there, and just and just you know you could like just fly straight down while you're riding your vehicle, and you get there way quicker than why I just did, and stuff like that. And then, and then also another super soul this is the GT super soul. I'm gonna tell y'all in a little bit. Once I show y'all my rate raking points, damage dealt points, and stuff like that. You know I'm gonna push options right about now, and I'm gonna show y'all. My points I got, and then boom, look at that. I jumped 20,000 plus damage dealt just like that. And look at that. Look at that. Damage dealt. I, I probably might go for more to get 100,000 just because. I, I might just do that. Just do it just because and stuff like that. And boom, just it's basic how it is, man. Just do more damage, and you can get your rate rewards. And that's really about it, man. And also, I'm going to show you out the one more super soul I recommend. But the thing is, I, the thing is for it to work for yourself as well, Everybody on the team needs it. I like once once everybody on the team has it, like have this super soul together, major damage is done. Major damage is done. Okay, the super soul I'm talking about is let's make this the final ultimate battle. It's, no, let's make this the ultimate final battle, which is Super Saiyan 4 Goku Super Soul, which basically boosts all your allies melee and also your allies key blast by extra extra large. But the downside is that you have to wait. Until after the, the battle um, begins, and, but then also the very, 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 very downside is that uh, it increases your allies' at, um, attack boost as well. But the thing is, for you could get attack boost as well. Your team may need to equip it as well. That's why I say once your whole team gets it, once your whole team equip it, y'all do a major, major damage. When, when I mean your whole team, everybody need to have the super soul on, and all y'all will do some major key blast damage to the braid boss. But also the, the also the very down. <laughs> downside of this is that even also the rate boss also gets a boost an extra extra large key blast boost and ultimate boost and the thing is i also really mentioned reason why you shouldn't do no shrek attacks ultimates or whatever is that because there's like some there's, there's some rate balls that that's 
that has super armor. Basically, you can't break their stamina. You can't really do anything. They, they just come at you. Like they could, You could be attacking them. They could still come at you and break your stamina and kill you like with one shot, two shot, two, three hits, grab you, and one, one shot you, and you KO, and stuff like that. You got some that are basically that could dodge all your attacks unless you know you know you use key blast attacks and stuff like that. And then you got some that just basically just regular, but you just probably do a lot of damage and stuff like that towards you. And um, they also like the, some of them throws keep keep um with gigantic key blasts up the sky and throw it to the ground. And if it hits the ground, it's basically um GGs for everybody. It's game over and stuff like that. That's why people use like moves like Soul Punisher to, to throw it back and stuff like that. And you get major points if you're the person who throw it back. And that's really about it. It's been your boy DBS Clips with another video. And hopefully, I'll see you uh, next time.